Hi, welcome to my video on graphing by transformations on the absolute value. And this video is on horizontal translation. Horizontal translation is denoted by HT. H for horizontal, T for translation. And the mapping rule for translation, horizontal is affecting the X, so it's an X and it could be a plus or a minus H and not affecting the Y. So the equation is Y equals the absolute value of X minus H. The horizontal shift is opposite to the sine. Let me explain. If we have the equation Y equals the absolute value of X minus H, notice that negative H is equal to negative one so H must be 1. So that means all points are move one unit right because of the plus 1. And another way is to let X minus 1 equal 0. That means that X equals 1 when you move the negative 1 to the right. So the vertex, when X is 1, put a 1 in. When x is 1, this becomes 0. 1 minus 1 is 0. The absolute value of 0 is 0. So when x is 1, y is 0. So h is 1. Move 1 unit. Ah, notice, plus, this is a minus. So next one, y equals the absolute value of x minus h. Note that negative h is equal to plus 2. So h is equal to negative 2. It's a negative of a negative. You can multiply by negative 1 on both sides or divide by negative 1. So h is negative 2. So it's 2 units left. All points are moved 2 units left. And another way is to let x plus 2 equals 0. The plus moves to the right to become minus. So notice that x is negative 2, so when you put a negative 2 in the place of x right here, negative 2 plus 2 gives you 0, the absolute value of 0 is 0, and that's its vertex. Again, notice that you have a negative 1, its vertex is 1, comma 0. You have a plus 2, so its vertex is minus 2. Notice this is the opposite. If the vertex is negative 2, 1, it's moved to the left two places. If the vertex is 1, 0, it's moved to the right one place. That's in terms of the basic equation, parent equation. And again, we have the third one. That's the value of x minus h. Notice that negative h equals negative 3, so h must be 3. So that's 3 units right because the 3 is a plus. And again, x minus 3 equals 0. That x minus 3 equals 0. x becomes 3. So the vertex, when x is 3, y is 0. And we have a fourth equation, y equals x minus h. So we have negative h equals plus 4. So multiply by negative 1 on each side. So h becomes negative 4. So that's 4 units, negative 4s going left. And so if we let x plus 4 underneath the root equals 0. x is equal to negative 4. So the vertex is, when x is negative 4, y becomes 0. And again, notice, plus 4 minus 4 for the vertex plus minus 3, plus 3 for the vertex. So, again, the, the horizontal translation is the opposite. So it's minus, so it's 1 right. Plus 2, it's 2 left. Minus 3 is 3 right. It's the opposite. Plus 4, minus 4. 4 units left, because it's in terms of the vertex. The x-coordinate of the vertex here is negative 4. The x-coordinate of vertex is plus 3. The x-coordinate of vertex is a minus 2.
the x coordinate of the vertex is a plus 1. Again, opposite. And we have the equation y equals the absolute value of x, which is the parent or basic equation. We got 2, 1, 0, negative 1, negative 2. That's a 2, 1 absolute value that we have practiced. We plot that. We got 2, 2. So 2, 2, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, right there. x is negative 1, y is 1. x is negative 1, y is 1. x is negative 2, y is 2. And I'll draw this freehand, but I'm using a ruler. There it is. And so that's y equals the absolute value of x. Now, we will deal with the equation that I'm going to put here is y equals the absolute value of x plus 1. And notice this is a plus 1. So we have x and y. So if the mapping rule, that's a plus 1, this is affecting the x. So it's an opposite, remember. So it's an x minus 1 in the mapping rule. It's opposite. So let's check. If we take the 2 and put the 2 in, we're taking the 2, this 2, putting it in, and when we put the 2 in, what happens? We get a 3. The absolute value of 3 is 3. We're going to put a 1 in. So let's put 1 in. 1 plus 1 is 2. So the absolute value of 2 is 2. Put a 0 in. And so we're when we put the 2 in, or sorry, 0 in, we get a 1, the absolute value of 1 is 1. When we put the negative 1 in, we get negative 1 going in, we get a 0, the absolute value of 0 is 0. Take the negative 2 and plug it in, put the negative 2 in, and we get a negative 1, which the absolute value is 1. So if we plot these points, uh, let's see, 2 x is 2, y is 3, x is 1, y is 2, x is 1, y is 2, x is 0, y is 1, x is 0, y is 1, when x is negative 1, y is 0, when x is negative 2, y is 1, x is negative 2, y is 1, so notice, if I do Draw this, and if we did another point, let's use a negative 3. If we take a negative 3 and plug in here, then we get negative 2. The absolute value of negative 2 is 2. So a negative 3 gives me a 2. So you can see that there it is. Notice the vertex was 0, 0. Now let me the, the basic equation y equals the absolute value of x, the vertex is 0, 0. The domain is always the same in the absolute value based on being a linear on the inside. And the range is y is greater than or equal to 0. So, based on the, let's use this for the this equation we have now the vertex is x is negative 1 y is 0 notice this is x plus 1 the opposite of the plus 1 is a minus 1 so that means that the h is negative 1 minus 1 in the mapping rule so the mapping rule has the opposite to what's in the equation. And the domain is still the same. X belongs the domain of an absolute value. If you have the inside to be a linear, it's always reals. But the range could change. But the range here is y is greater than or equal to zero also. And again, being on the inside of the absolute value, then in the mapping rule, it's the opposite sign. So this is x plus one. This is going to be x minus 1. So the mapping rule right here would be an x minus 4. 
the mapping rule here would have an x plus 3. The mapping rule over here would have an x minus 2. The mapping rule would have x plus 1, with the y staying as the y. So again, that's the horizontal translation. And if you like my video, click the like button, the subscribe button, the notification bell. Visit my math website, www.mathfullyexplained.com, to find more information about me, my video, and the content of my YouTube channel called Math Fully Explained. Thank you for viewing my video. Bye-bye.